Hi Cancer and welcome to your June 2021 general reading. This is for those that are born June 21st to July 22nd. So happy birthday to you. You could have a birthday coming up. So happy birthday to you and this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every one of you because it's general. <laughs> so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Uh, welcome to my channel. Force for the Trees is the name of the channel and there's a whole story behind that and I'll tell you about it sometime. But um, welcome to my channel and uh, anything you need is in the description below. If you need a personal reading, if you like to know the decks I use, it's all there. So check it out. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you being here very, very much. We're going to start the reading with three oracle cards that are going to kind of set the tone uh, for the basis of the reading. All right. And this is for Cancer for June 2021. Ah, I need to smudge. I pre-shuffle the cards and I do like to smudge them with each uh, reading I do. All right. There we go. Hope y'all are doing well. It's really warm where I'm at, so it is still spring, but it feels like summer today. But that's okay. It is what it's supposed to be. Alright, look at these. Beautiful. Alright, G. We're ready to go. This is for Cancer for June 2021. We have abundance. Beautiful. Big, great bounty, very, uh, all the flowers, all the growth. I see that too as growth. All right. Whoop, there we go. We have earth. Earth energy. So, um, it could be, you know, the earth itself. There could be abundance in the earth. If you plant things, they will grow. It's also Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy is earth. It's st stability. It is, you know, being grounded, being stable. Knowing from where you came. Knowing from where you came. And it's almost like there's great abundance to be had in the earth. I'll pull one more for you. For Cancer for June 2021, please. Let's see. All right. Sometimes I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. But it, it doesn't mean I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> Come on, cards. There we go. Thank you. And this is Hope. One of my favorite cards in this deck. Hope. So. I think that there's either a project you're working on or there's something that you're, you're doing for yourself, Cancer, that is very grounding to you. It can bring great abundance. It can bring money. And that could be the hope. You know, is that bird, is that the sun? Or is that a coin? It's hope. The message here is believing in what we do not see, that there is light on the way in the darkness. This is a trust that has wings to enter our life when we choose to let it in. So again, there could be something that you're working on that maybe you are, um, it could be a side job. It could be something that you do to take your mind off of something, um, Sometimes if we have a tragedy in, in our life, we can, you know, put all our efforts into another 
uh, like gardening or whatever, not, you know, it, I'm not saying that you have a tragedy, but there's, it's almost like you're trying to, 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 um, to get back to your roots, to get back to nature. Re remember who you are. And the abundance card is, I think, you knowing and you seeing that there is, there is beauty and abundance all around you. And that it doesn't have to just come from your hands. It's all around you. And if this hope is, you know, of brighter days, there's brighter days ahead, you're headed to a brighter day. Um, I think it's also a, a hope that... It's a monetary. I think you're hoping that um, if you're if you're doing a project that it's gonna it's gonna bring fruit. It's gonna bring abundance. It's gonna bring money. But it is something you enjoy. It's something you're enjoying, or it's something you are. Um, wanting to um, again, it, I just feel like it's getting back to your roots, getting back to the to the bone of the earth, getting back to the, you know, the raw part of it. Hmm. I'd love to know how that resonates with you. Oh, drop cards. Oh, all right. Cancer. You know, it's really grounding yourself. Maybe you're starting a gardening business. Maybe you're starting... It, it has something to do with the physical earth itself. You know, maybe there's travel. Maybe there's something you're taking on the road. Maybe you have a great abundance of something and you're sharing it with somebody. Alright, this is for Cancer for 20, June 2021. Oh, the cards fall out. Right, so central to the issue, you have, again, talk about abundance. You have the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is flat out the wish card of the tarot deck. Um, it is, you know, look at that peacock feather, I love it. It is, you know, very emotionally fulfilling. It is something you've worked hard for. There's great abundance in this card. There's a great amount of... Um, Of knowing you put in the hard work and that that um, there's a lot of emotion that went into this. But if there's a if there's hope that there's something that's going to be fulfilled, this is a definite. You know, the abundance card and the nine of cups and the hope card all go hand in hand. It is an, a it is a water card, so it's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So it's definitely you. But it's wishes fulfilled. It's almost like you asked, you know, for a wish and got the, the Nine of Cups. You've got your answer. You've got, you know, what you've been wishing for. What crosses this for cancer? Whoa. I tell you. I don't know if I can get these. Alrighty. I picked up all my cards. Whoop. My lights are falling. Hang on just a second. There we go, I think. I think we got it. All right. Oh, well, we crossed it over. There you go. So, we have the Nine of Cups again, the Wish card, and then you have the Five of Cups. So, the Five of Cups is in reverse. The Five of Cups upright is a card about um, not um, seeing what you're really give, given, you know. Um, crying over spilt milk, seeing what you've lost and not seeing what you still have, but it's in reverse. So this card tells me that, especially with the Nine of Cups, that you really know uh, what you have, you're appreciative of what you have, you know where it came from, you're not in this mindset of um, looking back and being very uh, melancholy and... Um, you know, having your um, emotions 
exposed or emotions that are, um, you're not, you're not in the mindset of repeating the past. It's like you've learned from your mistakes. You've learned the, the lesson with that nine of cups energy. You're not going to go back to the past. You're not going to go back and, um, hold yourself basically that emotional hostage. And kind of what brought you to this is the Ten of Pentacles. So there's some type of um, very much financial stability. So something could have happened coming up into this present moment here that we're in that um, warranted you to have financial stability. And that in turn could um, be moving you past this emotion that you need to let go of in order to move forward, which you're ready to do. So you've had some type of maybe windfall, maybe you won the lottery, maybe you had an inheritance um, that allowed you to start fulfilling your wishes and knowing that you're not going to let yourself go back to that emotional um, slavery is what I hear, the, the emotional being held. Uh, being emotionally bound. All right. Let's see what the past energy is coming into the present for you, Cancer. We have the world card. So there could be travel. There could be... The world is the ending of a cycle to begin a new one. So this is a, a great past energy card. It is in reverse. So this is telling me that um, you're still maybe dealing with this energy. Uh, you could be traveling. The world could be a physical world traveling card. Maybe since, um, you know, with COVID, everything's opening back up, possibly. Um, it's also the ending of a cycle. It is a completion of something you've worked very hard for and acknowledging that, you know, that you've worked hard for and it's time to move forward out of that energy into something um, that you've worked for. So that could be a schooling, that could be a job, that could be, um, you know, if it's a company you're building up, if it's, you know, again, getting back to your roots, getting back to that, that bone energy, getting back to, you know, the abundance of where you came for all that, you know, you have that, uh, you have that, a uh, completion you have completion. You have great abundance around you, though. You know, you have the abundance card, and you have all these pentacles and these cups. Emotional stability. Wishes fulfilled. And then you have a completion of a cycle. Ready to start a new cycle. Uh, ready to... Um, you could... <clears throat> excuse me. You could still be completing this. Like if it's a school or something like that. Wow. We have the, um, the present card is the, higher, uh, the emperor. And this is a card of Aries. This is a card of, um, it's usually somebody that is very, what is the word I'm looking for? They're very organized. They could be a teacher. They could be, um, somebody to help you, to guide you. So in the present coming in, maybe you get a financial advisor. Maybe you get a financer, financial um, person to come in to help you, goodness gracious, with, you know, this, this money, this new knowledge, this new money that you have coming in. Um, that's a possibility. Uh, if it's you, it's going to be an aspect of you that is, um, you're taking charge of the situation. You know, you know what you want out of the situation. You're, you're learning how to navigate and how to get it. You're very confident and you're very strong in what you can, can do. And you know what you can do and what you cannot do. It's not that, you know, not only are you learning it, but you're knowing it. And you're really coming into your own if this is you uh, aspect of yourself, which I really think it is because I just keep seeing you get stronger and stronger and stronger through this card. So coming in with the knowledge of the world, it's like there's nothing you really can't do. You're not really, um, you're not really, uh, that's what I'm looking for. 
beholden to other people. Um, and if you are, you're up, not above them. That doesn't sound right. But you, they're there to help you. It's like, what can we do for you? What can we do to help you? You're kind of in that position. Because you know where you don't want to go again. You don't want to go back to that. Um, beholden to other people. Beholden to your emotions. Beholden to, you know, the past. All right, Aries. Or Aries. I was looking at the Emperor. Emperor is a card of Aries. Cancer, this is for you. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. So coming into the present or the future, there's some. There's going to be some type of delay. Um, it could be in a thought process. It could be in a, um, a physical movement forward delay. There could be a glitch in the system coming up. And again, knowing this, if you're watching this at the 1st of June, know that, you know, maybe toward the end of June, if there's some type of movement or something that you have to do to move forward or take the business forward or take um, the idea forward or whatever, because it is thoughts. It is thoughts. It could be a physical move, but it also could be your thoughts. Moving it forward could possibly be a delay. I almost feel like it's a, it's a reroute. It's a rerouting, like, um, whatever this is, you know, whatever project or whatever is coming up, it might have to take a different direction. That's what I'm feel feeling a different direction, like a reroute or a different direction. Um, so again, knowing that coming into this, if you're watching this at 1st of June and knowing that that's a possibility, you know, you can prepare for that. You, it can give you a heads up. If the energy stays the same, that's a really good possibility um, that that will happen. So be prepared. All right. Let us see what your energy is for June 2021, Cancer. Your energy is the Ace of Rods. So you're ready for growth. You're ready for a new experience. You're ready for... Um, a new endeavor or a new possible um, possibly you know school or teaching you know again with the Emperor the Emperor is a great teacher so that could be a possibility but you're ready you're ready you've you've you put in the work you know what it takes you're ready for this new passionate um, um, thing whatever it is that it is you know you're very passionate about it and you're ready to start you're ready to take up you know the the rod and go forward you're ready to move forward with this um you, you feel very confident in yourself and in your ability and you should so the energy around you cancer about the situation it is the Wheel of Fortune. So, and it's upright. So, this is showing me, again, it's that wish card, wishes fulfilled card. It's it's almost like you can do no wrong. Um, it's, it's and I feel, I, I kind of feel like anything you touch can turn to gold, you know, that you have this ability to, um, to turn any situation around. Again, it's that rerouting, you know, that, that you have a, a very uncanny ability to turn a situation around. And it's a fixed sign. So, you know, you're very um, set in your ways. You're not stubborn, but you, you're stubborn in a sense. You're very set in your ways. And you know what you want. You know how to go about it. The energies around you. So the, the, even the people around you know, um, you know, what you want, how to go about it, how, um, your likes, your dislikes, you know, what will fly, what won't fly, so to speak, you know. Um, so there's a team around you, too, that they're of like-minded people. Like-minded energies around you, I guess I should say. All right, and then your hopes and fears, Cancer. Hopes and fears for Cancer. We have one flip. That is the flipper. It's a page of pentacles. And it is a card. Um, I guess it's a hope and a fear. Whatever the endeavor is that you're afraid, you know, that it possibly won't make the money that you're wanting it to make. Um, 
and I, and it could be a, a kind of hope and a fear. I think it's I think it's you knowing that when you start this or when this starts when it starts to come into fruition that it's not going to maybe be the big payoff that you think it's going to be it's not going to have that um you know it's going to make money but it's going to be a process it's going to be a slower process than you were um not that you were wanting but you kind of expected it but you just needed to um It's almost like when not expect the worst, but you know, hope for the best, kind of that, but not the worst. It's like, you know, the profits aren't going to be great, but you know, there's going to be some profits. So you hope there's some profits, you know, from whatever this endeavor is or whatever you're going to be moving forward and be moving towards. Again, if it's teaching, if it's a professorship, um, I'd be really curious to see what this is about. Um, but you know, I mean, you know, the money's there. It just might take a little bit in order to get to where you need to go with it. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles for the final outcome card. And it's in reverse. And again, it's, it's a, the Knight's one of the slowest in the deck. And it's something that you need to be prepared for. Because this, again, is reiterating that the money will be there. The money is there. It's just slow. It's slow getting to you. It's slow moving. Um, so know that if it's, um, again, a new project we're starting or a new career we're changing to, uh, it could be the ground level that you start at and you could be taking a cut in pay. Maybe if you're moving forward, but whatever this is, if it's a job, it's like your dream job. If it's a, you know, scenario, if it's a, whatever you're doing, um, with this great abundance in the earth energy. You know, you could be starting some type of grassroots project. Could be starting some type of back to nature project. Back to the bones. Back to the salt of the earth. Back to what you know. I don't know. I'd love to know what it is. That's how I know, you know, if the reading resonates with you. I like to know because... Um, I feel like I'm not just talking. <laughs> if I can get some feedback, it really makes me feel good that I'm, I'm at least maybe helping somebody or doing some, some type of, you know, good. All right. So yeah, the, the Knight of Pentacles, again, it's a slow night, but there's a lot of knowledge there. There's a knowledge, a lot of knowledge that's, that's been accumulated there. And even though the energy is slow and moving and the money might be slow and coming in, it will still come in. You know, it will still come in. Wow, that's crazy. I'm going to turn this light. It's that light. I don't know which light's on it. Look familiar? Shielding. That's crazy because that even has that same. I mean, that identical. And that was your. Um, the energy around you. So we have shielding around us. And it is card 13, which is also the death card in the tarot. Um, where something has to, you know, ending of some cycle to begin a new cycle. All right. Let's see. Well, if I can count, it would help. All right. This says, My light becomes my armor. That which is darkness becomes illuminated by my presence. Protection or shielding when used in times of an energetic negativity can be a powerful tool. We all have found ourselves in situations where the negative thoughts, feelings, and projections of others have become overwhelming. And retreating may not be an option. I think that's where that comes in here with the five... Remember when we were down with the Five of Cups about rethinking about the past and, and not, not allowing yourself to play that over and over again? You know, you're already knowing some aspect of this card, Cancer. You already know some aspect of this card. You, you, already, you already have it put in practice. By conscious projection, we can in, 
pretend that we are surrounded by an energetic bubble, perfectly safe and free to be in the experience of our own energy. When one finds themselves in a situation where a barrage of anger is projected, a quick visual visualization of, or of a mirror can quickly reflect to the offender that which is sent. Another technique that can be used is to visualize a high vibration of loving light surrounding your body where everything that is a negative is burnt up as it tries to enter. Think of a bug light and you will soon get the gist of this technique. So questions, if, you're, if you journal cancer, if you like to write or keep a journal, these are great journal questions to ask yourself. Does the warrior within feel confident enough to be present in all situations? Have I been weakened by the bombardment of the energies of others? Is the energy, thoughts, judgments, and labels of others clouding my perception of this situation? So again, it goes back to, you know, that five of cups energy and about um, letting that emotion, that raw emotion go, you know, the world, letting that, uh, and letting that cycle completely end. And again, if you do journal, you can, you know, replay the video, pause it and write those down. And that's great. That would be a great thing for you to do for the month of June. And it might help you um, understand the energies more and know that, um, you know, you're ready. You've put in the work. You're ready for this. You're ready for this. You're ready to let your light shine. You're ready to show everybody what you've been working on for so long. You're very passionate about it. Brings you great joy. And great abundance. And it's like it's your meditation. It's your meditation too. But no, that energy, I mean, it's there, but it's just slow moving. And it could be something, knowing this, that, that's coming in. It could be something that you know... Um, you can maybe speed up knowing that it could be slow. Maybe, maybe you, you'll know that the rerouting will have to take place and, and you'll, you'll be on it, so to speak. All right. Yeah. The wheel of fortune. I mean, lady luck is on your side. You've got the energies around you and you have protection. All right. Wonderful reading. Thank you for watching, Cancer. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your feedback. If you'd like to leave a comment, I'd appreciate that. Any information you need is in the comment section below. The decks I use, how to get a personal private reading with me if you'd like. And I wish you the best month, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.